Hello, hello, hello. Everybody's gonna be talking about love today because what day is it? Valentine's Day. <laughs> the wonderful capitalist holiday dedicated to selling you heart-shaped pink and red stuff. So love is an interesting emotion. People like to go on about how love is so pure and innocent and sweet, but that's not really the case. Love makes people do some really strange and creepy stuff. Speaking of, I used to think that the Yandere model was a good way of going about uh, getting someone to fall in love with you or being in love with somebody. <laughs> You'll love me one day. Oh, little me, what were you doing? Here's a dramatic representation of one of the less creepy things I did. goes into his yard and grabs a shovel and backs into the door. Yeah, he didn't see me. Probably thought he was just paranoid. But still. Creepy. Very creepy. When I was younger, I used to think that when you found your first love, that was it. And if you lost it, there was something horribly wrong. You were going to die alone. And that was really scary. Having finally seen longer term relationships, I've realized that that honeymoon phase, that deep passionate need to be around each other, doesn't really make up much of a relationship. You shouldn't be your everything to each other. You should have other people outside of that, and those different loves build into your romantic love and make it better. There are so many different types of love in this world, and they all deserve to be celebrated. So go out there today, celebrate your love for your friends, your family, your hobbies, your pets, your romantic partner, all the types of love that you have. And tomorrow, go out, buy yourself some half-priced, heart-shaped chocolates, and love yourself, because that's one of the most important loves in your life. Other people will come and go, interests will come and go, but you're always going to be there for you. That's something to celebrate too. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Alex, I hope you have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, whatever. I love you. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. Younger me was very questionable. I'm so glad I'm not like that anymore. Or am I?